Good day everyone, Mr. Cargill here with our next AutoCAD video. Now in this video, we are going to be continuing the mechanisms series. We are going to be doing this drawing right here. And it says that in this example, a ladder is leaning against a wall. The end A, this part right here of the ladder. And end B is on the floor. So A right here is against the wall, while B is against the floor. All right. It says the curve shows the locus of the midpoint P of the ladder as it slides towards the wall. So right here, what this locus shows, which is what we're trying to find, is point P, which is the center of the ladder, as the ladder moves from the floor to the wall. And this construction, if you're wondering why this is needed, why it's useful, it says that this construction could be used to find out if a ladder can be fitted between a gap in a roofing joist or if a long object will fit through a doorway. All right, so it, it is an important part of technical drawing. All right, so to start this, we're gonna select a line. Let me just use white for that. And this line is going to represent the wall. And since the ladder is um, 112 millimeters, as it says right here, it says that the ladder is 112 millimeters. So we're just gonna make the wall, um, in no specific measurement, but just ensure that it's longer than 112, but not too long. All right, and then the same thing for the floor as well. All right, good. So now I'm gonna select a different color for the ladder so that we don't get confused. So let me just select a line. And then then from this point, just ensure that you have um, end point and midpoint turned on from here. Let me just click that, bring that up and type 112, good. So now we're going to divide that 112 into 8 because right here it says that we're supposed to divide the height A1B1 into any convenient number of parts, about 8. And A1B1 is what we just um, drew a while ago. So we're going to divide this into 8 parts. So just type divide and click on the line and press enter. Oh, just click on the line, type divide. It's going to ask you to select objects. I'm going to click on the line. It says enter the number of segments. I'm going to type 8 and then press enter. So there we have the division points. Now, if you're not seeing your division points, just type DDP. Click on DDP type. Select any one of these that you want to represent your points. I normally use this one. And if your point is big, you can make it smaller by just changing the number here. And if it's small, you can change the number and make it bigger. All right. So now... Let me just um, label these points so we don't get confused. So from A, I'm going to select a multi-line text. Just click a place to start and create a little rectangle. And then we can type. So let me type A1 press, and just click outside. Now, if when you type A1, it's too small, you can just click on that and type scale, S-C-A-L-E. And then you can click on the A and you can make it as big as you want. If you want to make it twice the size, just type 2. 3 times the size type 3 if you want to make it smaller type 0 0.25 0 0.5 or anything depending on the situation all right so what i'm going to do i'm going to change this color to green to a lime green color all right so now let me just move this from here let me just turn off auto so that i can move it um diagonally as well so let me bring that here and then move that from here sorry not move i should copy all right, so that's A1, so I'm gonna copy A1. All right, and I'm gonna copy it from there and bring it down here to the second point, and then also copy it to this point down here. So let me just change the value of this from A1 to B1. Nice, and let me change the value of this from A1 to A. All right, good. All right, so now, what we're going to do is to find point B. Now in the drawing, point B is down here. So this right here is point B, all right? And AB is 112. So with that information, and as you can see, point A is at the second point right here. So from point A, I am going to just select a circle, put it at the center of the circle at point A, and the radius of this circle is going to be 112 since the ladder is 112 so type 112 and press enter so now i'm going to select a line and from 
A I'm going to draw this line down here all right and that line is 112 I'm just drawing I just drew it to where the line meets the circle all right so now I'm going to move that circle from here and just bring it to all the other points I don't need to bring it to, to A1 because if I bring it to A1 it will end up going to B1 and we already know where B1 is so we don't need that so just bring it to this point here now instead of instead of moving the circle I could just copy the circle and that might save time but um, we would have a lot of circles that might look confusing so for the purpose of teaching I'm just going to keep moving this one circle so that we we'll always have just one circle and it um, does not confuse anyone all right so from there click there bring that to where the line meets the circle and just continue to move our circle and instead of always coming over here to click on the move I could just type M for move and press enter and that would also save time all right and instead of going over there to click um, the line I could just type L enter all right all right so let me move that from here to here all right so from so now we only have um, two more points left all right move that from here to down here um, select this line draw the line from there to where the circle means the line click on that circle select the move tool move this from here to down here select a line move that draw that line from there to where the line meets the circle good so now we have all those points the next thing i'm going to do is i'm also going to move the circle down to b1 all right so i'm going to move the circle from here down to b1 and then i'm going to draw a line from b1 as well to where the line meets the circle because this is the ladder when it is um on the floor so now I'm done with the circle, I can just delete the circle by clicking the circle and pressing delete. Alright, so we have that. So now what we need to do is to ensure that we have a midpoint turned on in object snap. Alright, because point P is the center of the circle. So let me select a different color to plot the locus of point P. Alright, so from here now, I am going to type spleen, S-P-L-I-N-E. Alright and this um we're now going to just find the center of all these lines and the center of the lines would be represented by a triangle all right so the center of um the center of a1 b1 would be right here at point five because this is divided into eight so this is point one two three four five six seven eight nine so this the, the center of that would be at point five so at this point right here so i know that this is where um we would start our drawing at the fifth point all right right here and you can look on the drawing here as well and you can see that it goes to point five right here all right so now all we have to do is to just continue um to all the other points and then look for the midpoint of all these points for the triangle so if i move my cursor um along this point i will eventually find the midpoint here that would be represented by um that would be represented by a, a triangle all right so right here this triangle here represents the midpoint so that is the midpoint of that line so how do i know which line com comes next as you can see this line here is the closest line to b1 so the next line has to be this uh, this this um line over here because it's the second closest point to b1 all right so let me find the the midpoint for this line here you can just move your cursor along the line so there we have 
the midpoint for that line. The, the next um, line would be this line as it is the third um, furthest away from um, V1. So just move your cursor over this line and look for the midpoint. So there is the midpoint right there represented by the triangle. Now our next line would be this line right here. All right. All right, so we're just looking for the midpoint here. So there is the midpoint. All right, and from there, our next point is this, uh, our next line, sorry, is this line right here, this line. So we're just looking for the midpoint on this line here. So it's uh, somewhere right there. All right, and then the next point for our midpoint is this line right here. All right, this line here. So just move your cursor so until you find that midpoint and the next one is this line here so the midpoint is right here and then the next point is down here all right and the midpoint is right here and just press spacebar all right so that red this red line here represents the locus of point p as the ladder um slides um up towards the wall all right so that is how you would complete the mechanism um, for that drawing. Um, I realized that I did not, um, I did not label point B. So let me just label point B quickly before I end the drawing. All right. So let me change the value of this from B1 to B. Good. There we go. And that is how you would go about complete completing um, the locus for a point like this the center of a ladder that slides towards a wall i hope you found this video helpful if you did please subscribe for more technical drawing and autocad content so please do have yourself a wonderful day